Hi guys, I'm Alex and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video I actually did something pretty different from what I usually do. If you've been on my channel for at least a bit you can see that I usually do digital art and that's what I'm most comfortable with and I'm not the best at exp expanding my horizon. Anyways, what I did today was as you can see traditional art. When I usually do traditional art I draw with alcohol markers and on rare occasions I paint. So. Deciding to do a piece with only inks was definitely something out of my comfort zone. Which is a place that I usually don't go and I don't necessarily try out a lot of different mediums to try and develop my craft like I probably should. Uh, <laughs> and that's why I decided that it would be the perfect topic for today's video. Um, I'm gonna talk about what to expect when you try a new medium and exactly why it's good to try something new. My number one thing is trying a new medium can really help you get out of your comfort zone, as I mentioned with my own. And if you're anything like me, that will cause you to allow you to draw more freely. To try a new medium to me is always an experience, no matter how it turns out. It's something that I can learn from and I can always go into new mediums with an open mind with no expectations. I might do a different pose or change the line values like I for example did for this piece. And it'll probably be something that I'll end up adapting into my digital art too, because I really like how it turned out. Number two, if you're still trying to develop a style, I'd say one of the best way is actually to experiment with different mediums. Figuring out what you're comfortable with and how you can adapt your style and at least what you have to go off on is a really really great way to try different things and really figure out what you're comfortable with and what works for you. One of the best examples of this thing and doing this is a video I saw that Casey Golden made where she adapted her style to I think five, four or five different mediums and she showed it off and like compared them and you could really really see the changes because she had to adapt her style to the different mediums and how they work. And of course I'll link the video for you guys down below so you can check her out because She's an amazing artist and is a really amazing video if you want to see what I'm talking about. And in all seriousness though, having to adapt from medium to medium can really affect your style and I think it's a great way for people who have already built a, bit, a little bit on their style to slowly build more onto it. And I honestly wish I had done that more myself when I was looking for my personal style. Number three, if you're lacking... If you're <laughs> if you find yourself in a rut or if you're lacking motivation, this is what some people call art block. I don't personally, but hey. Anyways, if you're lacking motivation, something new uh, can be really really refreshing for your mind and it can get those creative juices flowing again and it'll help you create forward. If you allow yourself to just have fun with the art and enjoy the medium instead of focusing on a finished product, you'll see that you enjoy the journey. Um, much more and finding new creativity won't be that hard after all. It's also about leaving your comfort zone and creating something for fun instead of just having it as another chore which is something that a lot of artists can relate to when they're in art block or lagging motivation in general that they think of art as a chore which it really shouldn't be because for the most of us art is just for fun and that's what it really should be. Number four. Just as I mentioned in a few other points, you need to be open to failure. Most people look at it this way. If the end result isn't something that you like, what you did resulted in failure. Most people tend to forget about the journey that got them there. And that's really a problem because then you turn it into a negative experience and that's not what art should be about. You probably, you probably even had a lot of fun doing the process if you allowed yourself to. That I also, something that I also talked about earlier. Maybe you did something that you never tried before because your previous medium didn't allow you to and maybe you loved it and maybe you'll adapt it to what you usually do and maybe you didn't like it and you now know for future reference. It may sound really cheesy, but it's all about the journey. If you don't put your expectations too high, you won't be disappointed and you'll count the experience as something positive. And it'll make you want to come back to the medium and try something new again, which is always a good thing. 
I wasn't sure if I wanted to include this, but trying a new medium is really like starting blank all over again. You can watch tutorials and all, but it'll never be the same as when you have the supplies in your hands and you need to actually make something out of it. You can become a bit afraid, maybe overwhelmed, but if you start the piece with lower expectations or maybe even no expectations at all, you'll most likely end up making something that is amazing and you'll be so proud of it because, again, you had no expectations to, to what you could actually make. And it'll make you more confident and it'll make you want to try new things in the future, which is, as I said, always great. You want to expand on your horizon and all that. So I really hope this video helped you guys and that my tips were at least helpful to some. And that's all I have for you guys. Uh, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like my content, please be sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss another video. I've been working a lot more on this YouTube stuff, so I hope that I'll have a video coming along very, very soon. Anyways, enjoy the close-ups. Bye, guys!